Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to talk about a little topic that has been going around in the gaming community and that is keyboard versus controller. The debate is hot and it's hotter than ever in Modern Warfare 2. So let's hop into a little conversation while we actually play this match right here right now. Jake Sucky tweeted out something today, if you guys don't know, where he talked about controller and the keyboard and mouse debate uh, with it pertaining to Modern Warfare 2. In the clip, as you can see on screen here, the player is going through a building. He then is spraying at a target in the distance as two other players kind of cross across the screen. And the aim assist snaps on with uh, precision and takes out those characters for him. Now this has started uh, to stir a little bit of debate on the Call of Duty Twitter world. As keyboard and mouse versus controller has always been this hot topic in the industry that people feel very strongly about and they should for certain reasons but i'm going to kind of give my thoughts on it because i don't think the debate is much of a debate anymore i think there are some oh get fucked i think there are some things that are very uh, solidified in this industry when it comes to this argument and i'm just going to present my points and you guys can let me know what you think first thing that i want to address is the fact that aim assist is available to every player in call of duty it's whether no matter what platform you're on you can play on a controller and you can you too could have access to aim assist through playing on a controller right if you're on pc you can plug it in if you're on a console you're probably already playing on a controller it's available for everybody and with that being the case i think it's very important to recognize the fact that if you do think that it's better and if you do think it gives you an unfair advantage advantage in close medium range you could plug it in and you could have that advantage today. It's not like you're being gatekept by something extremely, uh, you know, extremely strong uh, about this. You know, you could just fucking plug in a controller and play it if, if it's really that busted and you could learn and become better as you should if you're looking for a competitive advantage. And if you think that uh, aim assist is something that is ruining or plaguing your game because it's just unbeatable. Now, my second point in this entire topic is just the sheer fact that like i do think with, with what i said previously i do think it should be said that devs should try to find a middle ground right controller players shouldn't be just aim locking through fucking shit and not have to you know aim to some degree they should still you know it, it should be it should be somewhat competitive between the two but i see a lot of people kind of demanding this equality in these between these two platforms and i just think that's like not possible at all talking two different inputs with two completely different ways of playing the game two different inputs that require two different this fucking guy running around this fuck you man um yeah so you're <laughs> you got two inputs that require two different types of attention when it comes to making the game playable for the players that are playing on them uh, keyboard and mouse doesn't really require anything. It's just the basic input. You plug it, you play it, it works, it's fine. Controller though, you have to kind of have aim assist because of the way the controllers work. It's a necessity. If it didn't exist, then controller gaming in general wouldn't have progressed to the place that it's at today um, from, from where it started. You know, many people would have just said, hey, fuck it, let's, let's not launch our consoles with, uh, with a controller. Let's just fucking launch it with a keyboard and mouse. That's not the case, uh, and I think aim assist is to thank to that. I think it made controller gaming possible and somewhat competitive to, to keyboard and mouse. And even in some cases, a little bit better, which I'll get to. So yeah, back to the devs though. You, the devs could work hard and try to find some sort of medium ground and make sure that controllers aren't completely beating out PC players and that PC players aren't completely beating out controller players. And I think for the most part, Call of Duty has kind of done that. You could argue that in close range, aim assist is better, but like, hey, look at it. Nothing's gonna be perfect at the end of the day. And if you think that the close range to medium range gameplay is, is more important in your gameplay, then sure, go ahead. Just plug in a controller, learn, get better, is what I would say. There's no, there's no, there's just no possible fucking world that we're gonna get a world where like it is even ground, where there is no back and forth in this scenario. To some degree, there will be one that rises above the other in certain cases. I think keyboards and mouse, keyboard and mouse's case is far range precision aiming, which is less common in Call of Duty, albeit. 
and controllers is that close to medium range tracking and gameplay. Oh, that guy almost got fucked. But now, I think I'm gonna enter maybe one of my final points about this entire debate that, you know, maybe maybe along this entire time, you're, you're on the controller side and you've kind of been agreeing with everything that I say and you've been kind of rooting for me and now I'm gonna make you not root for me so much because I do have a strong opinion regarding um, both platforms. But in particular, when it comes to keyboard and mouse, I still think that even with everything that I said, Keyboard and mouse still takes more raw skill, and that is just a, a truth that I'll never let go of. It's it's something that when I do say that type of shit, people kind of look at me a little bit weirdly in this industry, which I'm fine about. But when you have one giving you assistance and one not giving you assistance, it, dude, it's it's like it's like having a handicap in golf and thinking that you're you got a good swing or that you're good at the game when at the entire time you know you're playing not necessarily with the on your own accord i'm always going to look at pc players and pc aimers with a level of respect that i that in in comparison to controller players i can't give you them the same amount of credit because on keyboard and mouse it is all your aim you are getting no assistance you're getting no help and on controller you are but that doesn't mean you shouldn't enjoy the game that doesn't mean i hate you and i think that you shouldn't be able to fucking play call of duty for some reason that's where everyone's mind goes when I, when I say shit like that, I don't know why, but I want to make it very clear that I don't think that. And that I think that you're still, you're still great at gaming. You're still worth it. I still believe in you. I just don't think you are, you know, as skillful as a keyboard and mouse player. And I think my, I think my logic kind of reasons it out and it makes a lot of sense when it comes to that. That was pretty much it in terms of what I had to talk about about this entire thing. If you want to check out the tweets uh, that Jake Lucky had out and that whole entire conversation, you can check it out in the comments below. I think I'm just going to go ahead and continue fucking frying this game and getting this dub. Fucking smoke, my doggy. I like this so far. I like this game a lot, man. Modern Warfare 2 is pretty sick. It's pretty fun. And there it is. That's a victory and a good talking point. Anyways, once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about controller versus mouse and keyboard. Did I end the debate once and for all? Maybe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, though, keep believing. Bye-bye.